rescuers are on the scene of that building collapse near Miami. We know at least one person is dead and it is feared the death toll will dramatically increase as dozens of people remain unaccounted for. Just into our newsroom, this security camera video. Now, remember, this is from an adjacent condominium. Stunning. It captured the moment of the collapse, a 12-story complex simply turning to rubble. It almost looks as if it was an intended implosion. Here's ABC's Rena Roy with the latest. The massive search and rescue efforts continue in Surfside, Florida, just north of Miami Beach, after a condominium building partially collapsed early Thursday morning. We had a 12-story, 136-unit uh, apartment complex that uh, had sustained a partial collapse. The northeast corridor of the apartment had uh, collapsed, approximately 55 apartment units. The Miami-Dade Fire Rescue says more than 80 units were sent to the scene. They are in search and rescue mode. They are uh, trying to identify survivors. I know they have made contact um, uh, with some, and they are, they are doing everything they can to save lives. First responders rescuing a young man from the rubble using a bucket to take people off their balconies. Look out, people standing upstairs that don't need to be evacuated. Barry Cohen thought it was a thunderstorm. We opened up the door from our apartment, and there was a huge pile of rubble and dust. When we got to the bottom of the stairs, we couldn't open the door because the door was, the steel had bent in the door. The collapse sent a cloud of debris throughout the neighborhood, cars as far as two blocks away coated with dust. There's a third of the entire building that you cannot see from the street, but it's completely gone in the back towards the beach side. Nicholas Fernandez owns two units in the building. Three close friends were staying in one of those condos. I know for a fact that my unit is no it doesn't longer exist. I'm not even concerned about my, my unit. I, I, I don't care. It's material. I just want them to be good. Officials say they're concerned about approaching storms contributing to a potential secondary collapse at the building and within the debris pile. They add they still don't know how many people could still be trapped. Rena Roy, ABC News. And make sure you stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of this deadly collapse. You can see by the rubble, we're likely to get more information throughout the day. So we will bring you any new developments. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.